and hello my enchiladas hello my love muffins it is tori the hope dealer of guided intuition <laughs> and i am here with your daily guidance your daily spiritual message okay your daily reflection depending on what part of the world you live on and what time you are seeing this all right that is when this message is meant for you we know there are no timelines in the spirit realm so whenever it finds you this is when it's meant for you to hear what spirit has laid on my heart on this beautiful Monday, November the 19th, 2018, honey. <laughs> um, I don't, I'm, depending on when you're seeing this, but I am recording it it's later in the day. So I hope that you guys have meditated, all right? I hope that you have grounded yourself. I hope that you have said some positive affirmations about your life. All right, about yourself and what you want to manifest into your reality. All right, it's so important that we surround ourselves or speak what we want to see. But I'm going to be getting to that in the moon guidance for um, this full moon in Gemini because that is very vital. All right. With Jupiter home in Sagittarius, with us going into this full moon and Gemini, with the planets doing so much, with Mercury, when, you know, went retrograde, you know, all these things. And we know that Mercury houses how our communication skills, how we show up, how we communicate. All right. So I feel like this week it's definitely, or let's be honest, <laughs> before this week, um, just how you approach things, just how you look at things, um, you know, or interact with people yourself okay you have probably really been tested or things have been showing up okay lessons have been showing up or maybe you need to look at a situation okay or communicate in a different way all right because I'm going to be completely honest with you <laughs> I have definitely um, realized that um, just the communication between myself, okay? And as, of course, you can see, my name is Guided Intuition. You know, Spirit gave me that name. And um, I definitely am focusing on this week of really strengthening my bond with my intuition, like really listening to myself, you know, because I am not wrong, okay? When it comes to things about Tori or vice versa, when it comes to things about you, you are not wrong, okay? And if you listen to that feeling, you know, that one that we like to, you know, no, maybe you shouldn't grab that. No, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna try it anyway, you know? At the end of the day, I feel like those lessons we learn, it helps build us, but there can be where you don't have to experience so much pain and trauma or dismay in your life. And how you do that and avoid these, you know, avoid repeating lessons or just avoid heartbreak or avoid, avoid these things is listening to your intuition. So strengthening your bond with your intuition is definitely going to be coming, is coming together this week. And it's the opportunity to strengthen that bond between your intuition is definitely coming this week. I just want to apologize ahead of time for any noise that you hear in the background. My family is off from, the kids are off from school for Thanksgiving break. So, you know, initially I, we're the fun aunt. I'm the fun house. So everyone is going to come on over to my house, you know, and it's like nine of them. Mind you, I have nine and actually 10, including Tristan. And then a couple other, well, it's a lot of them, okay, that I just, I just love my nieces and nephews. I love spending time with them. So they're always here. So if you hear kids in the background, guys, it's them, all right? <laughs> it's them or arguing over Fortnite. You know, they'd be arguing arguing with imagine like people they haven't even met I'm, I'm just I just don't understand this but okay <laughs> so I just want to apologize ahead of time okay so um before we get into the daily guidance and we go deeper into strengthen your bond and really what spirit is asking of you in this moment um with from your with your intuition um I honestly want to make sure that you are loving on yourself okay make sure that you take the time to love on yourself today okay because with mercury you know doing whatever it's doing honey you know it always brings different kind of emotions and situations up that can be like tough pickles or things that you have to um dissect and really look into and just you know re uh reevaluate maybe the way that you approach something so I don't want anyone to beat up on themselves in those moments as we learn these lessons but love on you and just appreciate yourself 
no matter what you are experiencing or no matter what you're going through, I want you to love on you. Make sure that you look in that mirror, honey, or turn that phone around to selfie mode and just pour so much adoration and so much love for yourself, honey. I was like looking at myself in the mirror like, ooh, babe. Like, girl, like, ooh, you're behind. Like, girl, them buns are like getting real right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like, them squats coming through. Like, I'm loving this. I'm loving everything about you. Like, oh, girl, you's fine. Like, I'm doing that. And I'm even loving on my roll. Like, you know, you know my little love handles. I'm like, y'all looking good, too. Like, what's going on? Oh, my God. You know, make sure that you're taking the time to love on your body. Love on your skin. You know, even if you have, like, a blemish or a pimple or whatever. Like, love on yourself. Give your body love. That is how you heal yourself when you love on yourself. Instead of saying, what's wrong with you just complimenting you pouring love even if it's not what what you want right now you know and you're currently in the process of going you know changing the way that you eat or changing the way that you exercise but loving yourself okay giving yourself love is the key Okay, <laughs> so I do want to say that. So we're going to go ahead and get into this daily reflection, okay, daily guidance, daily spiritual message. All right, now I know I just said we're going to get into it, but I honestly want to thank every single one of you for subscribing to my channel. You guys are amazing, and I'm getting like some emails of you know just how this happened, you know. And I'm definitely going to make a video. I have a couple of videos. Like, I literally write them down so I don't forget. But I am going to be making some videos about, um, you know, all the questions and things that you guys slide in and ask me, okay? And I honestly want to do, like, a Q&A, all right? So, my... Um, my email address is below, okay, guidedintuition18 at gmail.com. I just want you to put in the description box Q and A. Um, if there is a personal question, okay, that you would like to know, your name will not be shown. I mean, it can go anywhere. It can be about, you know, sex, life, love, um, concerning me, or just you want my opinion on a situation or, you know, of course, whatever it is, okay, whatever it is, if there's something that, you know, maybe you're struggling with, you know, and it's kind of like you don't want to, like, let anyone know, you know, y'all know me. I don't care. <laughs> so feel free to drop those questions. You know, it can be anything. It's not limited. It can be about spirituality, religion, like the why, the why not, relationships, like yourself, your body, your personal area. Like, I don't care. Like, I want to be an open book to you guys. And if I, by me being open and mindful, can help you in a situation, I am all for it, okay? So I'm going to be saying this in this daily this week, the weekly dailies to come, so you guys can just get those questions in because I feel like, you know, we can get to vibe and just change stories, you know? I probably, like, go live for that because I know y'all want me to go live. <laughs> you know, I'll probably go live and, like, answer some questions and stuff. Um, so, I, I, yeah, I want to do that. Um... Okay, so I think that I went ahead and addressed that. But I just want to, like, thank you guys for all the love. Thank you for scheduling readings with me. Thank you for sending your um, energy exchange and with your love, do um, love donations that you guys have been sending me. It's just so sweet when I pop up and see that. It's just like, you know, it just, it just warms my heart. So I honestly want to love on all of you guys for everyone that comments, okay? Um, I'm, it's, it's, they're coming in so fast. Like, I'm literally trying to get through them. But the way that... I know for sure, even if on the um, monthlies, because I'm getting in and I'm trying to like, you know, do all those things. Um, and I can hire my little niece to do it, but I, I want to like take the time and do it myself. But I know for sure on the daily guidances, I will always respond back to everybody. All right. That's the perks of coming into the daily guidance. I will always write you back. I will always comment and respond in the daily guidances because I feel like it's, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's more intimate. I, I, it's just, it's weird. <laughs> All right. So let's just go ahead and get into this daily um, spiritual message for today. Now, I do want to, this is, might not be for everybody. So if it uh, gravitates towards you, just take it. But the overall, um, what I'm feeling for a lot of you, okay? What spirit wants you to trust your intuition for and listen to your intuition, okay? Because we have the dream card, all right? And this dream card, I feel as though, I don't know if you guys can see it. 
Okay, that's better. This card is all about wanting or yarning for something, okay? But feeling that it's not, it's not tangible, all right? Or wanting something, but it's not tangible. Because you can see, like, she's looking at this. And this picture, oh, just so beautiful, so happy. But right here, we see that that's not her current reality, okay? So I feel as though there is something that, you know, maybe that you 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 want it all right maybe that you yarn for okay and um you've kind of like put it out of your mind I, I honestly i'm feeling like a relationship but it can be anything okay listen it's not that it's not coming whatever that dream is that you desire okay um it's not that it's not coming all right but whatever is showing up in your life right now is definitely making room for it to come because we have postponement, okay? So we know that when something is postponed, it's not finished, it's not done. So it's not that it's not coming, okay? But I feel like there's there's something about the planet, something that you're wanting, all right? But I feel like with the planets, even with the full moon and Gemini, what the planets are doing, it's really preparing you for this amazing gift that Jupiter it's yours, okay? It's yours. It's yours, okay? You don't have to soak on an old relationship because if that didn't work out, you know, if it didn't come the way that you thought it would, don't worry because it's going to come. It's going to come to you, all right? I just feel like right now it's a hold. It's postponed because there's something that you're learning. It's something that you're doing, something that you're growing through, honey. Um, and listen to your intuition because your intuition is definitely going to help you, um, you know, by listening to your intuition is going to bring this dream, okay, this new vision, all right? It's going to help you get there and bring it into your current reality. Someone needed to know that today. Your intuition is literally the ticket that's going to take you out of postponement and bring you here from whatever you are desiring that you feel is intangible or even in, you know, maybe there's your hook on, a, you're hooked on a relationship that passed, and maybe you feel like this relationship was what you needed, but in reality, it wasn't what you needed. All right, my love muffin, it's okay. Believe me, I've done that plenty of times. <laughs> you know, it's, it wasn't what you, what you needed. All right? And that can work for a job or something that you thought that, you, you know, was the dream. But in reality, it's not the dream. If you could see where your life is going, if you knew what, you know, the universe knew and what God knew concerning you, you will realize that it's so much bigger. You can dream bigger, all right? Because I feel like whatever this was, it's probably out of just settling or feeling like, you know, this is all that you can obtain, all right? So I feel like, you know, until you, until spirit, okay, or, you know, gets you to listening to your intuition, okay? And really following through with that, this is when it will move forward. So sorry for bumping the camera and, and coming into here, okay? So I felt like that was the overall. For each of us, it could be something different. It could be your finances. It could be love. It could be something that you're trying to create. It could be a multiple, so many things. It's not limited. But love, for sure, I was definitely feeling like heavy and also with like, you know, just really like someone starting a business, you know, and you just... And maybe it's not flowing exactly how you thought it would be flowing when you just first like, you know, okay, here we go. I'm going with this. I just feel like there's a lesson. There's something that you're learning or it's something that is you're pulling away from. You're mo moving away from, tearing yourself away from whatever this is, you know, so you can receive, you know, what um, Jupiter wants to give you, what the universe wants to bless you with. All right. So let's just look at this daily message. Okay. We have temperance the sun, and the queen of cups. Yes. All right. So <laughs> I just grabbed my quartz because um, I feel like today is definitely a day of grounding your emotions, okay? Figuring some things out, okay? Because I feel like there are some things that you are asking for. There are some things that you want. And it's not that it's not coming because we have the sun. And for a lot of you, it's love. It's your finances. It's just it's just freedom all around the board. Peace and harmony. And it's not that it's not coming because we have the temperance, okay? It may not be coming as fast. Whatever you are desiring, honey, you know what that thing is that you are holding that's crowning you. 
it may not be as coming as fast as you think it should be coming, but it's coming. But I feel like there is some part of you that is, is gaining control of your emotions. The Queen of Cups definitely flows from her emotions. All right. And I feel like, um, you know, there's some impatience going around, you know, and sometimes when we are, um, you know, wanting something, you know, and maybe you got like a, a glimpse of this in a person, I'm going to use a relationship, but it's not limited. It can be a relationship. It can be anything, but I'm, I'm really feeling to go towards a relationship. There can be like a glimpse of a person, you know, that maybe, you know, what, whatever you ask for, you know, in a relationship, you, you see it a little bit of it in a person. Okay. <laughs> and, um, you know, sometimes we can take the decoy, right? Like you can take, there's something better coming, but being that you're getting impatient, you know, it's kind of like you're, you'll just grab whatever's in front of you. Okay. So I feel as though spirit is saying what, what you desire is definitely coming to you. All right. But it is some going to require some patience from you. Okay. For you to, you know, just to slow down a little bit, you know, um, govern your emotions. Okay. Look deeper. All right. Listen to your intuition. Cause I feel like your intuition has been telling you this, but you've been, um, you, you haven't really been listening. You've been, you know, um, Ingot, not ingot, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's call it. Let's call a spade a spade. <laughs> it's okay, but I've done it too. Don't feel bad. I have definitely done it too. But I'm getting to the point when it comes to my intuition. Okay, I know that my intuition will never steer me wrong. My intuition will never let me down. My intuition knows what's best for me. Okay, and vice versa with yours. So I feel as though there is definitely um some patience required okay in order for the bigger picture to come about that spirit is asking for you today don't lose hope pray speak positive vibes over that thing speak what you want to see all right <clears throat> okay and just govern your emotions i feel as though you just feel like it's just never going to happen for you you know sometimes we get like that where you know it's just like oh you know, when is it going to happen? It hasn't happened yet. It's not going to happen, you know, and then, um, just know that it is. Or even if that's not your way, maybe you've gone like good, good, good. And just now you're having a moment because we have those moments where we're just like, damn, you know, is it going to happen for me? Am I going to get this? Is it going to come into my reality? You know what I'm saying? Like we get those moments. Okay. We get those moments. And I honestly want to share something with you guys. This weekend, like even when I'm making this video, you know, I, the reason why I'm recording it later on in the day when I'm recording it, <laughs> um, is because this weekend I got very sick and I truly believe like it was food poisoning, but in my intuition told me not to touch that. Like, don't eat that, Tori, you don't need that. Go about your business. You know, meat, no, I want to taste it. <laughs> Sagittarius, you know what I mean? So, um, <laughs> I end up eating it and needless to say, what my intuition told me not to do guess what happened i was throwing up you know a lot i was just all over the place with you know my my i was sick in my bed sick in my bed and i'm like oh my god my baby's needy <laughs> i'm like i gotta get this because i just hear you guys and I'm, you know how these messages help you how these things do you and i'm realizing latoria like it's not just you you know what i'm saying like by you living your life and you being true to you is helping others. So I have to conduct myself in a different way, you know? And again, it was a lesson learned because when I did that, I'm realizing, okay, like I can trust her. Like that's just more, I took, instead of beating up on myself, like, oh my God, you know, you're, you know, you, you, you know what we can do ourselves. We can take ourselves there. Like, oh my God, you got to do this. Look at you. You're letting people down. You're not putting it up. You know what I'm saying? All those things were, you know, trying to come into my mind. However, I scaled back and I looked at it. All right. And I was happy that this situation happened, even though my stomach, like there ain't nothing on it. Like I was just throwing up water and everything. However, this taught me, you know, I can trust my intuition. She knows what's best for me. You don't need to second guess yourself, girl. Like you got this. Listen to her. And that's what's going to bring about, you know, whatever it is, your, whatever you view as the sun, whatever you view, view as your moment of glory, you know, your bliss, your harmony, your peace. This is what's going to bring it along. But 
in order you have to um you know listen to your intuition and gain control of your emotions all right you got to ground yourself because and 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 keep the faith keep believing know that it's going to you know take some time for this thing to come about okay because i feel like there's a dream it's some kind of thing that you feel like will make you happy so you're going to have it it's in your vortex okay it's in your vortex. Yeah. And and again, because a lot of you, I just feel like there is a letting down. Maybe why you're, you know, in your, there's some kind of, there's some kind of heartache, you know? Um, and of course, we know the three of, the three of swords it deals with, you know, maybe a third party relationship or just heartbreak, period. But it's something to do with the heart, okay? It's something to do with the heart and I feel as though there's something that you've maybe been yarning for, okay? You've been wanting and it hasn't come yet, you know? And I feel like you're starting to lose, you know, hope. Or you're or starting to believe that, you know, you're, you're, you're believing those negative thoughts and what, no. We know, and with this full moon in Gemini, I'm going to talk about it in the moon guidance. Speak only what you want to see. You are a powerful and mighty manifesto so whatever you speak whatever emotion you flow out of whatever that you let comes to you whether it's positive or negative that's what you're going to get that's why it's very crucial that you listen to your intuition your intuition is is telling you you know maybe you're holding on the heartbreak or the pain from an old relationship or being rejected or you know and in feeling like even though you're in a new relationship that this person is just going to, you know, be just like what you, you know, you got out of. And spirit is saying, no, your intuition has been telling you to maybe write a forgiveness letter, an energetic letter, maybe burn it, you know, meditate on forgiveness. OK, um, yeah, listen to your intuition, whatever your intuition is telling you to do. This is how you're going to get over this lesson, get over this hurdle, move into what you view as the sun. And, and take you out of this three of swords, okay? Because I feel like even how this is set up, you know, with the queen, you know, she's looking forward. But yet in her mind, this is where her mind is focused and, you know, this heartache or whatever, whatever that is. Okay? And see, when you, whenever you do what your intuition is telling you to do, and I feel like it's towards gearing forgiveness and just speaking, um, realizing, you know, that it's for you. You know, speaking positive in your situation keeping the faith all right this is going to bring you or if you're not already into it the nine of pentacles energy this is how you got here or this is how you're getting here all right this is all about self-worth and how you see yourself this is why you're able to look at that mirror in yourself and have these conversations this is why you're able to look at how amazing you are and where where you were and where you are now and where you're going if you looked back and truly you'd be like wow like i've come a long freaking way all right you deserve to be in this energy don't speak of this speak of this look towards this don't look at this see gain your emotions more so here Speak from a place of love to yourself and around your situation and what you want to see. All right. And that is how you move forward. Okay. In order to create more of the nine of pentacles, bring more of that self-worth, self-love, self-acceptance, which eventually brings you the desires of your heart <laughs> because it takes your vibration up honey to the highest of highs this is how you cultivate more of what you view as amazing as you view as good okay as you view as abundance into your life and i love this because this talks about forward movement but it also talks about you being present in the now all right not the past, not the future, but in the now. And as we know, the now is where we ha where we create our future. So you, right here is what you're coming into. Or if you're not already here, right here, the nine of pentacles. You've let go of the pain. You've gained control of your emotions, all right? You've realized, okay, that it's going to take time to receive this, but it's not impossible. And I feel like a lot... Of you have grabbed that and some were you're grabbing it it's all right it's okay <laughs> and maybe you had a moment maybe this is your way of thinking but you know today is just one of those days it's okay 
all right it's definitely okay clear your energy ground yourself okay clear your energy ground yourself because when you ground yourself it brings your emotions back into center okay now I do have my god my goddess oracle cards and I do want to ask spirit okay with pulling everyone's energy that is watching this video or that will be watching this video spirit how can they connect to more today with their intuition so sorry my love muffins <laughs> but how can you guys connect more with your intuition today all right for the first card, how can they connect more with the intuition? And then, Spirit, just give us, you know, maybe if they're having an issue right now, which is really deciphering their intuition versus, you know, sometimes that little doubtful bug that likes to come into our ear. What is some things that the intuition is wanting to speak to them and say to them right now, Spirit? How can they connect? And what is the intuition wanting to say to them? How can they connect? First card, how can they connect, Spirit? Okay. All right. So this is the first card. So we're going to go over how you can connect with your intuition. And what are some things the intuition is saying? Okay. Right there. Let's pull three. You know, I love the number three. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we got three. So as far as um, <clears throat> you can connect with your intuition, okay. How you can connect with your intuition. We have inner goddess. Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciation. Your divinity? Divinity? Yana. <laughs> I need my glasses. So what Spirit is saying, how you can connect with your intuition is through self-care. So that's definitely through, you know, eating fruits and vegetables, okay? Um, even eating food of a higher vibration, okay, dancing, exercising, okay, going out in a walk on nature, getting that um, solar plex to spinning, okay, and appreciate and appreciating you within yourself, okay, because when you love yourself, that means you begin to trust yourself with those open doors to endless things to you know to come in i am a i know that all too well okay <laughs> i definitely know that so there are some ways that um you can definitely connect more with your intuition all right that's how you connect more with her through self-care okay and appreciating yourself all right and um you know just going within dance reconnecting with the desires of your heart on a not a smaller scale but more so from an internal point all right self-care it's very vital. That's why I am an advocate for self-care, self-love, self-worth, and self-acceptance. Because I know that this is how you get the desires of your heart. And how do you get the desires of your heart? By listening to the guidance from what's inside you. It's, it's from your intuition. All right? So what is your intuition telling you, though? Okay? What are some things that your intuition is telling you? All right? That maybe, you know, you can't hear right now. And the first one we have, bold. Unleash your adventurous side. Take risks and be daring. So like I told you, when I say this, it's time for some of you to come out of the closet, honey. Honey, it's time for you to come out of where you've been hiding. It's time for you to show up, all right? That's all your intuition has been telling you to do is to show up. Be bold. Unleash your adventurous side. Take risks and be daring, even with love. Because I feel like there was a lot of betrayal that you've experienced in love in the past. However, you sitting on the nine of pentacles now. Like, you, you got the juice. You legit, you the shit, all right? Own it, be bold. Everything that you've been through, everything you have experienced, honey, you deserve all this goodness that's coming your way. You deserve it, okay? And then we have guiding children. It says, you are good at helping, counseling, and healing children. Use your skills to help children now, all right? So I feel as though, I feel like this is definitely with children, okay? But also, your peers around you, we're all God's children, <laughs> you know? But um, what your intuition is telling you to do is just to speak up more, okay? Because just how, like, you guys tell me all day, like, these messages help you so much. There are some amazing individuals, okay? All of you guys, if you could really tell your story, do you know how many people would take 
so much pride, like so much joy would like get, gain so much clarity from you living your truth. That's all I'm doing. And that's all y'all are doing, living our truth. But there is freedom. There is there's something extraordinary in sharing your story. And I feel like someone has a heart for children. You know, and like that little 16 year old, oh my boo girl, I gotta get your name. But like, she's 16, all you spiritually woke. Shit, I wish I was 16, spiritually woke. Lord, you know? <laughs> and last, we have golden opportunity. Okay, important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them, let go of fear, and take hold of these opportunities that are presenting themselves it's not a coincidence okay take these opportunities to present themselves don't be scared don't live in fear just go forth okay so i love you so much my love muffins go out and have a fabulous day or night all right realize your power okay tap into your inner guidance by self-care okay or your inner god male or female be bold okay share your story and take these golden opportunities that are presenting their self. I love you guys so freaking much. <laughs> and I will catch you on my channel. Go out and hug a tree for me and you. Go out and be in the earth. All right. And be you. And I will catch you on my channel. Take care.